Let's draw the Lewis structure for H2O2. This is hydrogen peroxide. So the first thing with Lewis structures like hydrogen peroxide here, we count the total number of valence electrons. And we can use the periodic table to help us. So hydrogen right here in group one, all of these have one valence electron. We have two hydrogen atoms, and then oxygen over here in group 16, sometimes called 6A, that has six valence electrons. We have two oxygen. So 2 plus 12, that gives us a total of 14 valence electrons for the H2O2 Lewis structure. When we draw Lewis structures, the least electronegative atom, that goes in the center. But hydrogen, that always goes on the outside. So let's put two oxygens with hydrogen atoms on the outside, like this. Next, we're going to put electrons between atoms. That's going to form the chemical bond. We put two electrons between atoms. So far, we've used six valence electrons for H2O2, but we have 14. So we would complete the octets on the atoms on the outside, except hydrogen only needs two valence electrons, so both hydrogens are fine. Let's complete the octets on the oxygen atoms. At this point, we've used all 14 of our valence electrons. Each hydrogen, that has two, and then the oxygen atoms, they each have eight, so their octets are full. The electrons between atoms, those are shared. Those are the covalent bond. So this is the Lewis structure for H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, that would look like this. You note we would have our electron pairs out here like this. If you need help with the molecular geometry for hydrogen peroxide, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for watching.